Okay, so this is our video tutorial of how to use the digital cameras for our projects. First, what we want to do is look at the camera and see that there's a button that says on slash off. You're going to press that button and the lens of the camera is going to move out. We're only going to be using a few tools on our camera. The first tool is the simple picture taking button. It is located at the front top of the camera and all you do is simply press it and it makes a flashing noise. The next tool we're going to use is the zooming tool. It is located on the same button as the picture taker. All you do is you use your index finger and twist it to the right to zoom in or twist it to the left to zoom out. Then after you zoom in or out, you can take another picture. So what we're going to be taking pictures of today for our project is mainly the trees, the leaves, the plants, and any animals you might happen to see around our school. So, for example, you might notice that since it's fall and it's getting colder, you see that the trees are losing a lot of their leaves. That's something we might want to share with our friends in Texas. So, what you'll do is you'll take your camera, point it towards a tree that's losing leaves. You might want to zoom in so you can get a more in-depth picture or zoom out so you can get more trees covered in the picture at once. We can, will learn to see if our friends in Texas also are losing all the leaves on their trees. Another example of something you would take a picture of are the animals that we have around our school. A lot of the things we see are squirrels, chipmunks, and birds everywhere. So if while we're outside you happen to see one of these, Stay far away from it and use the zoom tool that we learned about. If you see it, you can zoom in and take a picture of it. This is something we'll also share to see if our friends in Texas have similar animals as we do here in Indiana. So after we spend about a half an hour outside with our awesome digital cameras, we're going to go back inside to the computer lab. Once we're there, I'm going to hand out cords that you connect into the camera to the computer. You'll be able to upload these onto your student drive and then we will email them to our friends in Texas.